Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, hump day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Center Rob Williams is a big reason the Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. Well, we might have a throwback battle on our hands, Greg. These two teams take pride in their defense. No doubt. These are some tough-nosed, gritty, physical defenses. And we're not going to see many easy buckets. Both sides are going to make you work. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Young and Bogdanovich are their guards. On court spots filled by Hunter and Collins. And it's the monster in at the center. And for Boston, up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Jalen Brown out there with Derek White. And it's Brzingis in at the five. And it's the Hawks to start out. Now, here is Young. Boy, he was something else against Boston. Pass to Hunter. Here's the monster. Six to shoot. Kicks it to Hunter. Here's the monster. It doesn't go for him. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Yeah, they weren't doing themselves any favors missing all those free throws. You could sense the frustration mounting as the game went on. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Here's Young. And yes, it's good. And some crafty inside play from Young. Finding a way around the defense to get his shot. White finds Porzingis. First quarter just over a minute played. Hunter with it. And the pass to the monster. Young inside. Wide on. They get the rebound. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. It's stolen by Brown. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Love the aggression from Brown. A tough cover for any defender out there. And how about Jalen Brown? Part of that young core for the Celtics. Yeah, he's been through a lot with this young group of guys. They've grown together, they've come in together, and they've gotten better together. And you've seen the production of Brown increase because of it. No good on that one. Wow, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and the second free throw, good. And we've watched Brown blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. Pass to the monster. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot, especially in the first quarter. And this Celtics squad looking like the Celtics of old. 
Yeah, always a tough squad when I was playing, and it's looking like that again. you got a great mix of young players and veterans, and don't be surprised if Boston is back on top very soon. Very soon. Here's White. Plays it up off the glass. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. For Atlanta, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And here's Young from the arc. It's good for a second make. He's made 2 of 3 so far. Such a creative ball handler. Young has an ability to carve out room for himself with his dribble. Porzingis kicks to White. Round the pass to Persingas. Outside Tatum. Shot clock at five. There's the triple. Hands it from downtown. This is what great scores do. Tatum rises to the three-point challenge. Young passes to the monster. Bogdanovich with it. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. First That's his first foul. Second yeah, clearly he had an established position there. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Young against White. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Up top, Porzingis. Celtics passing it around. Outside, Tatum. From outside the arc, the monster with the rebound. The Hawks leading by three. Young looking it over. Launches a three. Again, Young missing. Boston's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. White up top. Defended by Young. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. And it's tied up with that one. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. Now, here's Collins. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the monster. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Przingis. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. The Atlanta shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. First one falls. Robert Williams is checked in for Boston. He hits both from the strike. So it's Boston now, trailing by two. White the pass to Williams. Outside, Horford. He kicks it to White. Poked away. Stolen by Collins. Young against Horford. 
And here's Young. He's got five. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Collins. Shoots over White. Four on the clock. And stolen by Tatum. From deep. The Monster with the rebound. The Monster's got four rebounds now tonight. Hunter, a three, sinks the triple. A very consistent three-point shooter. Hunter shoots it well from there because of how confident he is. Out to the right wing. Pass to Brown. Launches it. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Young. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. And defensively, everyone wants to body up Young. And, and he expects that and has the body control to combat it. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. You know, trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Clippers coming out of the board. It's your Boston Panthers. Here's the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. They ran a great system last year that put a priority on creating high-quality looks from deep, and it made them the best three-point shooting team in the league. Williams finds Horford. Back to Williams. And there's the pass to Brown. Five to shoot, and Horford wide open. He shoots. Boston, no good that time either. The Hawks leading by seven. High post, Young, wide on. On deep, Collins, and Boston with the rebound. Now Tatum, he's coming off a 19-point game against Atlanta. And I love what he's been able to do on the glass, securing some extra possessions for his team. Great recognition of the mismatch, abusing the smaller defender. Poor guy. Here's Bogdanovich. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Tatum against Hunter. Outside Collins over Horford. That's good from Collins on the assist by Hunter. And the Hawks lead by seven. And you love how instant. Collins' shot can be. Gets a pass and wastes no time in releasing it. Now here's Tatum. He's got five. White goes in. And he drops in the layup off the glass. White's got seven points in the game. The Hawks have gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Back to Young. Sent back by White. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Outside Collins. Hawks passing it around. Here's the monster. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Bogdanovich. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And you have to admire Bogdanovich's confidence. Not easily shaken inside, even with the defense right up on it. Now here's Tatum. Here's Horford. And they pick up two. And inside the paint really is where Horford goes to work. Still athletic enough and really makes it look easy. Here's the monster. And there's the feed to Hunter. Count it. Good. Hunter's got his second bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. 
Now a timeout called by Boston. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Williams is checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Tatum. Max Truss is checked in for Brown. And Brogdon subbed in for White. Then for the Hawks, Clint Capella, he's checked in for John Collins. Bayes subbed in for DeAndre Hunter. Now here's Williams. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And that one's good, Brogdon. And you got to have a great understanding of your teammates in the pick and roll. Brogdon's in sync with everybody out there. Here's Bogdanovich. Capella kicks to Young. Here's the monster. Six points for him. He gets that one. Young's got nine points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Brogdon the pass to Williams. Now Brogdon. Outside Williams. Now, here's Struess. Boston needs to get off a shot. For three, Brockton. Rebound by the Hawks. The Monsters got seven rebounds in the game. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Now, here's Bay. Williams with the steal. The shot from the low post is good. You got to keep pace with Williams in transition. He's so good at just outworking everybody on the floor. Outside Bogdanovich. Two Bay with it. Two Young passes to Capella. In the corner, Bay with it. Young outside. Shot clock at six. It's over Brogdon. Young's shot is off. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make him up. And there's Brogdon on the assist by Williams. Now just a two-point Atlanta lead. Well, it's much easier to space the floor when you have effective shooters like Brogdon on your roster. Here's Young. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. 11 points in the game. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. At the elbow, Williams. Kicks to Williams. Passes it to Brogdon. Williams with the ball. Uses the glass to finish the wave. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Brogdon against Young. Again, Young missing. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Up top, Struess. He is covered by Bogdanovich. Williams kicks to Struess. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Jackson A's, he's checked in for the Hawks. One shot. One shot. On the free throw, no good. The Hawks shooting quite well in these early minutes, 55%. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Young's shot is off. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Rodden scanning the floor. from 14. 
And he was able to put it up in time, but it doesn't fall. Tie game in Boston. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. And so White will bring it up for Boston. Victory eluded them last time in Atlanta when they faced the Hawks. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out rebounded. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Williams is out there with Porzingis, and it's White in at the one. That's the Boston five. How young. After Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. And it's Capella missing. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now here's White after Clint Capella's miss. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Trey Young. Derek White was only six feet in high school. No D1 school even offered a scholarship. Derek ended up at a D2 school, but White had a major growth spurt up to 6'4. Transfers to a, a D1 break. school. Take a break. The Spurs take him Three late shots. in the first. What a crazy path to the league. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Richard, so much of today's NBA defense is about covering the pick and roll. And as a player, is that something you enjoyed, taking on that challenge of covering the screen roll game? You only enjoy that challenge because you are a competitor and you want to win. Is it something that I'm doing on my own? Is it something that I'm doing in my spare time? Probably not. I can think of more fun things to do. Exactly. It is not. And there are so many variations right of the screen roll that you can defend it as many ways as you can run it. And these players are so talented that they can stop and pop from three. You have to guard them at the half court line before you could guard them at the three point line. Now you got to meet them at half court and their screens all over the place. It's miserable. And play stops. Oh, Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. They took pride in their success at the line and enforced opposing defenses to be very careful against them. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. White dishes to Tatum. The kick out to Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Williams has got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. The Hawks shooting at 50% in a decent group. Young pass to Hayes. Back to Young. He dishes it to Capella. The Hawks working the ball around. Bogdanovich against Brown. Here's Capella. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got four rebounds in this game. There's the dish to White. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Second, all the foul. officials are all over Second that one. Team foul. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Boston? At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
and that one falls for White. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Atlanta making a switch here. Collins has checked in. And both free throws, good for White. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Young pass to Collins. Outside Bogdanovich. Collins in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Gonna go that time. He feeds it to White. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And it's 13 points for Jarek White. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now, here's Bogdanovich. He points his last outing. Great initiative from Capella there. Seeing an opportunity to score and getting the D tag. The Hawks shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. He misses the free throw. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. So we can't get either to fall. Richard, haven't we seen a lot of growth in Jason Tatum's game? He gives credit to the late Kobe Bryant today. Yeah, he was fortunate enough to train with Kobe Bryant, and sometimes he reminds you of a young Kobe. He clearly absorbed a ton of information from him. And now the first time I've called here for the Hawks. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So, for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of doubt in my mind. But I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. And when Collins goes up, the interior defense runs out of options. He forces them to get sloppy. That one misses. Williams, he's checked in for Przingis. Good on the second free throw. And here's Boston. They're on a 10 to 1 run. White against Young. Williams in the post. And the rejection by Collins. And that shows you a bit of Collins' all around game and why he's so valuable at both ends of the floor. Good on the shot. 
And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now, here's Brown. After the miss from Trey Young. And Williams throws it down. You know, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside position. He just goes for the finish. Pass to Bogdanovich. Collins with it. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Robert Williams. And a lot of players might have passed that shot up. Not Collins. He That's stays aggressive house. and draws the foul. This is his second trip to two. the free throw line. First one at the line is good. The Monsters checked in for Griffin. So he hits both of them. Greg, we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. It's always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect, also how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the play. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line, so that's more than acceptable. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That one falls for Tatum. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. The Hawks have shot just above 55% of the line, going five of nine. Austin leading by 11. Outside Tatum. White against Young. And it's White missing. And for Atlanta, they come in off a good outing against the Celtics. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. Here's White following the basket by Trey Young. White inside. Busted. No good that time either. The Hawks trail by nine. Here's Hunter. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Hunter's got seven. At <laughs> six, seven, Hunter. Nice handles there. Showing him off on that position. Williams kicks to Tatum. Just five on the clock. Shot from the top of the key. 
And he overshot that one, missing. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. He'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game is the first and last of their home start. Pass to Hunter. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Oh, great ball movement there. Austin leading by five. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Checked in. The pass to Tatum. He kicks to Brown. It's deflected. And here's Bogdanovich. Here's the monster. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Or for the pass to Brogdon. Trying to get something going. A shot's good. And the assist by Horford. Brogdon's got eight points. An elite distributor for a pick man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. against Bogdanovich. The Hawks working the ball around. Now, here is Young. He's guarded closely. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And that's 13 points for the Monster. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Here's Brogdon. That one doesn't go. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Bogdanovich against Brown. Bogdanovich passes to the monster. Lays it up off the glass. Now just a two-point Boston lead. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Brogdon kicks to Horford. Passes it to Tatum. Good work there as it goes. He's got 10. Once Tatum's around the contact, it's over. A little room, just a little, is all that's needed for him to score. Pass to the monster. Outside Collins. Pass to the monster. Back to Collins. Just three to shoot. Let's a floater go. That one drops for him. Collins has got five points now this quarter. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Williams passes to Horford. Knocked loose, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Collins. Some changes for Boston. Williams comes in for Al Horford. And Struz is subbed in for Tatum. Four on the shot clock. Brown against Hunter. Hunter with some nice defense. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Here's Bogdanovich. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Austin's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. The pass to Williams. Now, Struess shoots it up. Rebounded by the Hawks. The Monsters got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And here's Young from the arc. 
tackled on by Williams. And he continues to cast away. But the result just hasn't been there tonight. Well, it just seems, Richard, like Robert Williams is a guy willing to do anything to help his team. And there's a whole lot he can do. His defense has never been a question. He can dish it. He's an aggressive rebounder. And look, his effort level, that's something you don't ever question. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Two shots. 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the Take line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. One free throw good from Brown. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Boston. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Bays checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And Brown drops them both. Here's the Hawks with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Back to Young. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. 15 points for Trey Young. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Williams kicks to Brogdon. Young with the steal. Williams against Bay. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Passes it to the monster. Fires from deep. Two two in the first Offensive Two rebound. Minutes. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. The monster's got the game tied up here for the Hawks. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Williams kicks to Brown. Pass to Brogdon. 139 left in the first half of basketball. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup. But that's exactly what you need to do. First trip to the line for him here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Williams. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. And Williams drops them both. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Kicks to Bogdanovich. Pass to Capella. Back to Bogdanovich. And easy two points on the lane. Bogdanovich has got his second basket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Williams in the post. Working on Collins. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. changes. Hayes comes in for Collins. And Griffin subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. One ten left now here on the second. Here's Brown. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Seven points for Jalen Brown. Yeah, they've gone away from the triple as they look to protect this lead. Williams against Capella. Here's Bain. No points in the game yet for him. A nice shot by Griffin. Got it in close. And unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Brogdon kicks to Struess. Brown outside. To the middle. Here's Williams. Williams trying to break free. And that's a 
out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. There's 31 seconds left here in the second. Here's Brown. And really, this is the role of Capella. To come out, play that strong defense, and alter as many shots as possible. Here's Young. Banked in off the glass. Trey Young. Young's got 17. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Brown outside. From deep. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Hawks on top, up two. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Atlanta was looking great right away. Their lead at one point was up to seven, and they had some real nice momentum going. By the end of the first quarter, they ended up with a nine-point margin. A tightly contested second quarter saw them inch out ahead, but only slightly, and they now lead by two at the half. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Hawks? It's great to see a team going inside, challenging the defense in the paint. We don't see that mentality as often in today's game. So much is perimeter. Guys want to stay on the outside. They don't want to get sweat equity. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, their bench production has been a major factor. Guys have been ready to go when their numbers come. And it makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. 